prayer warriors are definitely being solicited right now as we speak, y'all, for John Legend. I don't know if y'all heard the news, but John Legend has sold his music rights and everything he owns. They're saying y'all that the singer, songwriter, and producer is the latest star to sell his music catalog. Y'all like Tina Turner and some other celebrities y'all has cashed in by selling the rights to his catalogs of songs and recording royalties. Now, according to a public filing back in September cited by Bloomberg, y'all, they're saying that the 12-time Grammy Award winning crooners y'all sold both the copyrights to and royalties from music he wrote from the late 2004 to early um, last year. Now, they're saying that BMG Rights Management, the um, international music company, which has worked with the artist since acquiring his um, music publisher, Cherry Lane Music Publishing Company, back in 2010, bought, y'all, the rights in partnership with the private equity firm of KKR and Company, y'all. They're saying that the private... He, he, I don't know. Brad, have you sold your um, catalog or did you have one? I, <laughs> you so funny. Very. When you're a prolific writer like myself, you definitely have one. And yes, oh. I, I was thinking about selling it. I, I, I really am. Hey. Really? Well, Brad, Big if you had to guess, how much money do you think he got? Oh, he, he got some hits now. He sold a lot of records, and he wrote most of them. So he, he's got a few, and they worldwide hits. They not just R&B. They pop, too. You know, they go across the but globe. But why he sold it? Because some people say he probably sold it because after Chrissy got bullied all last year, honey, and she ain't got no money coming in. They need money why, in that why house. Why you always got to resort to that, though? I mean, if it's Because that's what's to, out in the press. If it's something to sell, like you got a house or a car to sell, you sell it. You may want to sell it to get some money. You may want to buy something else. You may just want to see your money before you get up out of here. It ain't oh. no telling why he doing it. Well, that's true. So why what do you, you think, Brad, a hundred million? It, it's 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 worth something nice. It, that I don't know about a hundred million. Not that much. I don't know about a hundred million, but but he gonna get a nice, a pretty penny for it. Definitely uh-huh. in the millions. Well, yeah, we would hope, honey. I mean, what's the songs he made again? Because I don't remember. Nothing. He started with ordinary people. Oh, ordinary he he people. got a lot of songs. With an ordinary people, <laughs> he don't know which way to go. Well, the fact that he can people. sell his catalog is what's dope, Gary, because he actually owns it. You know, a lot of artists yeah. don't own their catalog because they don't write. Right. Thank right. you. Well, right. Beyonce so owns Destiny's Child, so they can't Kelly and none of them can't sell nothing because Beyonce own all of that too. Then I guess so. If they what ever get broke, they're just gonna be Wait, broke. What? Because if you wrote the, uh, he write all his music just like Mariah Carey does. Um, uh-huh. So that means they own that. So the girls that's on the show that sing women that don't write the music, do they get something from the catalog? Uh, no, not if you don't See? write. If you're not a writer, that's you don't get royalties. I mean, but you could perform and get money to get pay- paid to do the song. Yeah, but you gotta keep performing. When Beyonce could stay at home, honey, just send um love say, girl, I'm selling this, honey, and now I'm rich and y'all still not here. She would get a hundred million plus, Beyonce. Okay. Really. Yeah. I got six hundred dollars for the uh, Friday after. Nah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nah, bro. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Got some shoestrings. But anyway, y'all, <laughs> moving on. In other celebrity news, y'all, Simon Gubardia, y'all, honey. Oh my God, somebody tried to shame Simon. Now, if y'all don't know who Simon is, he's the fiance to Portia Williams. Now they're saying, y'all. That um Simon's ex wife Miss Fallon Pena and her new partner um Jalen Banks y'all you know they put it out there that Simon forgot his son's birthday party the other day while he was getting a beautiful tattoo of Portia's name on his back well now honey it's out there Simon let it be known honey that he did make it to his son's birthday party he gave him a birthday party he said happy birthday to my son Christian who turned twelve years old this past Sunday he said you are a gentle giant at six one. The gentleness of all my children and the biggest heart I've ever known in life. He said, you bring us so much love and joy with your quick wit and infectious love and laughter. He said, I love you so much, honey. He said, um, you know, all of it, you have a great week and so on and so forth. But not only did Simon say something, but his beautiful fiance went out and said something as well. Portia, she said... Happy birthday, Christian. You are literally the sweetest boy and, uh, might I add, one of the brightest. I'm so proud of you. Your mom and dad have done an excellent job with you. Love, Daddy. Pulled up with the most active party yesterday. Woo, she said, I was so tired after laser tag, but I did whip up on Simon in air hockey. But I have to admit, he did get me back when it came to bowling, although I did extra points for my magnificent form. She said, hashtag best son, hashtag best dad, and hashtag family first. That's beautiful. Aww. Isn't that beautiful? That's beautiful. That is beautiful. Yeah. That and Porsche can bowl, by the way. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. You and Port, uh, uh, you and Gary, you can bowl too. I sure can, honey. Make no error with y'all. Honey. Just because you know, don't look like I can do a lot of things, but I right. can bowl. Yeah, honey. I remember we went bowling. But did you go? Bowling? Yeah, you went bowling with us that time. Gary was out there killing everybody. <laughs> Them yes. legs, them legs got that coordination. <laughs> Gary, you've been bowling your whole life. I've been, but we used to bowl. That's all we did because you know we were poor, so we did have the bowling alley that we were able to walk to to bowl at um, in Port Arthur. And honey, I used to go bowl, and I used to skate. I don't know what happened with the skating part that I kind of lost that. But um, a, I, 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 he I likes the hard bowling the, balls. <laughs> it's just the thing with them bowling balls just bought you to life. Big yeah. heavy balls, <laughs> just throwing them, honey. Just really makes me just. <laughs> Gary, did you have your own ball or you used theirs? No, no, no. We had a guy. Believe it or not, back at the station, I know a guy came to the station back years ago, and I have my own ball. Thank you that I throw. Thank you. So I have my own bowling ball. So I'm definitely a great bowler. I need to get back to bowling, honey. What's the way to your bowling ball? Yeah. And doing extracurricular stuff. All right, the color today, y'all. We ain't going there. The producer said, time. The, produ- the, the color today, y'all, is trout. <laughs> on the high end, you say trout. And on the low end, you say beautiful gray, y'all. That's the color for today. Y'all give it up for Gary with the T. Hey. Hey.